Hello everyone, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sharing a part of your holiday time with me. Newcomers are coming to the channel. That I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for connecting. I hope you're as curious as me. The moon is so exceptional. And here's the situation for those newcomers then, uh, that are just joining the channel. We got ourselves, thanks to the community and the contributors, a 14 inch telescope. 1400 HD telescope, uh, a very expensive telescope, good quality telescope by Celestron. Um, I'm waiting for the weather to clear up. So now the weather is cleared up. The snow seems to have stopped um, while we're watching this with the P900, my camera that I took with this. Guys, this is in the middle of the afternoon. Now, the 14 inch telescope. Um, I cannot bring it out when it's minus 30 weather. Now, when I'm talking about minus 30 weather, there's also a wind chill, chill factor to the weather. In the States, most everyone knows that, but where it's not really cold, it doesn't really matter, the wind chill. Nobody will check the wind chill at night if it's only a couple degrees. But here, uh, when they're announcing minus 22, with the wind chill, it always feels for us here in Canada, in Montreal like minus 30 with the wind but now they're announcing minus 30 35 weather which means the wind chill factor will be minus 45 and up so it's going to be pretty drastic and of course I'm not going to be able to bring the 14 inch telescope out when that happens but the good news is I have a couple of days off um, a couple of weeks actually about a week and a half off so I'll be able to get it out at least to get some tests but I want you all to know that don't worry, the 14 inch telescope is sitting in the kitchen guys by the door, literally. It really is. It's been plugged in, it's been set up, it's calibrated, it's ready to go outside. I, I did everything inside and now all we have to do is wait for the beautiful temperature. So minus 30 weather is crucially dangerous for a telescope. Everything on purpose, right? Well, we're not going to deliberately destroy that telescope, but we will be going out very soon. I just want you guys to know that I didn't buy the telescope to be a decoration. Trust me, I want to be on the moon every chance I get, and we will. But with the other telescopes I have, the 1500 uh, SLT, um, I got the P900 that we're taking a chance bringing out. I can go out in sessions of 10 minutes because it's so cold. This is good. We still have the advantage to be able to uh, get the, the, the moon. You know, I sit here in the afternoon and I always uh, stay in contact with my mother daily. I've, I always have, call her up, see how she's doing, chit chat. And uh, I always talk to her about the comments that I'm getting because for me, the comments that I'm getting, guys, some of the comments that you're doing is so inspiring to me. You know, I didn't think the world was filled with that many good people I'm really really serious about what I'm saying I thrive off the comments and I love connecting with people I'm a people person I like talking to people and I like debating I like uh, disagreeing with people and it's all in good taste and when I connect with people like I am now you know seeing the comments it really is heartwarming for me I love you guys thanks a lot and hey, I think it's been three days that I was supposed to answer the comments, right? Well, guys, thanks for understanding that, you know, I'm alone. I do have to get the videos up, but I promise I will never stop answering hundreds of comments every two or three days. And I will go through them. And you know what? Tomorrow morning, great news. It's freezing here. I'm going to get some amazing videos up. But before getting a video up tomorrow morning, I'm going to sit down and answer a lot of comments of the recent videos that just came up guys I got so many amazing comments I got people telling me to get to the comments because there's so many people asking me questions thanks a lot for that guys so each person in life has the choice of doing what they want with their lives right um, what I want to do is start this channel so that I can gather people here that will share the work and research with me of the findings we will be using professional equipment. We will be doing this legitimately. I want people to know that. As clear as I'm getting the surface of the structures on the moon, 
it doesn't mean that I'm faking it and I'm putting models up there. Many people don't have the balls to show what's up there. It's just as simple as that. And once you see what's up there, well, then it's the overwhelming anticipation of wanting to tell someone, wanting to prove it. And I'm going to jump right over that step. And I'm just going to tell you that it is my belief that the moon has many anomalies on it, many surface structures. And I do believe that there are even um, humans or another species right now on it. It all comes down to believing, you know, never mind what other people are saying. Judge by your eyes. If you see on the surface of the moon that you believe something is there, use your common sense. You have to use your common sense. There's nothing symmetrical on the moon. It's what we were told. There should not be one symmetrical object on the moon. And there are many. Next video up. Um, I might stay up a bit later to try to get it up either for tonight late or tomorrow early. Uh, Vega star. Why are we talking about Vega star? Well, Muamua is on its way there. These are the channel contributors. Another recent channel contribution. Guys, thanks a lot for the support. Um, it's coming in from every angle. I appreciate it. Bill Copeland, welcome. Um, Bill, I've seen so many people, new faces here, coming and uh, commenting. Um, I skimmed by the comments. I saw that you'd comment. I will be tomorrow morning answering all those comments. Thanks for connecting, Bill. Thanks for joining the community. You're not going to regret it, guys. We have a lot of new things coming for this channel. WSO YouTube channel. Steve Olson, the host of the, of the channel on YouTube. Please check him out. He's getting um, a lot of information about what's going on in the sky with other channels. Check him out. For those of you who do not know, I don't use NASA photos. These are all my photos. The many thousands of photos that are on this channel and videos are all mine.